In this video you will learn how to exclude postage locations on eBay. Please note that you are actually unable to do this on the eBay app, so that means you are going to have to log into an online version of eBay. You can log on to this either on a mobile phone or a laptop, you just need to make sure that once you've logged in the screen looks something like this. Once you've reached your screen the very first step is to click on the top left hand corner where it says hello and then your name. You want to then click on account settings. Then you want to make sure that you have account here selected. And if we scroll all the way down to the bottom, you will see it says postage preferences. You want to click on that. So from here, if we scroll a little down the page, you will see it says exclude postage locations. And you have the options to either do the domestic or international exclusions. So if you click on edit, you will come up with this screen here. As you can see under the domestic section, it labels all the islands surrounding the UK. Many sellers in the UK choose to tick these boxes because the delivery times may take longer than expected. The same would apply if you were in the US and you were sending to Hawaii for example. So now we move on to the international section. For example, say I wanted to stop selling to North and South America, I would tick these two boxes here. As you can see, the number inside the bracket is how many countries are in this continent. You can view the individual countries by clicking on this button here, and you can individually select which ones you want to send to. There is also an option to exclude buyers, the one that item sent to a PO box. Now some sellers choose to keep this box ticked, this is because that when sending to a PO box, the chances of the item going lost actually increase. If we just leave it as it is, these settings would apply to all future listings. So you want to make sure that you have ticked the box, apply to current listings. And this part is relevant for the people that are in the global shipping program. By ticking this box at the bottom, you essentially allow the global shipping program to do all the work for you. I would recommend having this ticked if you're a part of that program. Once you are happy with your changes, you can go ahead and click save at the very bottom. And once you click save, this banner will appear at the very top and it says your exclusion preferences have been updated. So that is the video. If you did find it helpful, it would be much appreciated if you could like the video and subscribe to the channel. I post daily tutorials on some of the most common problems that people face when they sell online.